Superintendent Fauta made an announcement earlier in this meeting that this board is under invest investigation for exactly this, this matter. And I just want to make it clear to everybody that I think this board was misled by the RFQ process. In all the RFQs that were given to this board, none of them, none of them gave the commission rate that this board would have to pay. All of them said, okay, well, you know what? You know, this, this service is provided to the board at no cost. That's completely untrue. That's, that's a complete lie. The money that this, that this company gets is a surcharge on top of the premiums paid by this district. And this amount is staggering. I said before, when Mr. Ferrero said, okay, we have no money, yeah, we have no money. The reason why we don't have any money is because this board continues to make decisions based on politics. In the last three years, this board has paid over 700,000 in commission. To, to the brokers. You know, did we know that this rate was negotiable at all? I didn't know. I've been on this board since January. I did not know this. I feel terrible that, that I did not know this because I was asking questions about this. Other districts pay either a flat, flat rate. I've seen other districts, if you look up in the news, insurance brokerage, they pay 100,000. We spent over 700,000 just on health benefits and prescriptions in the last three years. Uh, other suggestions that if you look in the news is that, well, why doesn't, why doesn't the board just hire somebody just to be the insurance broker and just, you're just paying a salary? I don't understand why this board was not given this information by the brokers. Furthermore, this was an RFQ process. This is a public process that we pick the broker. You know, we picked a broker at the beginning of June based on the information that we had. The board came back the next meeting, reversed our decision. What the board members said at that meeting was that, well, you know what? We don't have to give a reason. This is a mockery of the RFQ process. This is a mockery of the public. Like I said, we come back at 10 o'clock, there's nobody here. I'm standing up here saying, why, why are we getting motions from the audience? This is completely improper. Board attorney is making motions for these board members because they don't even know, they don't even know what they're doing. They're just going along with things. We have, we have, we have people coming from the audience saying, look, just hire the company, hire the homegrown company. Where's the homegrown company? They're from North Bergen. They're not even from West New York. Are there any West New York employees? That was never told to us. Nothing. And board members seized upon this and said, okay, you know what? We want to hire the homegrown company. Was anyone asking how much this cost? Nobody asked that. I didn't know the answer. I didn't know the question to ask. You know, when I saw in the news that we're under investigation, okay, I looked everything up. I see that this problem is across New Jersey. That the boards pick politically connected companies and are not doing things in the best interest of the children to save money. Listen, that. listen. Uh, exactly, we don't know. Do you have listen, a basis for saying we don't know. We don't know. It's, it's legal or illegal. Now, what I think proposed the motion. I suggest wait for next meeting and the lawyer going to come with the, it's legal or not to come back again to the insurance. I believe we have a real call right now. We don't now. know. We don't know. He don't know. He said have to meet to make the research to see what's going to do. We're going to vote now. We don't know. Just vote yes or no. I believe we have a roll call, board president. Uh, board president. That's it. No, we don't know. We're going to wait. We're going to wait next month. Okay, so at this point, we're voting on a motion to terminate the Alamo um, contract for all insurance needs. Trustee Acosta. No. Trustee Chang. Yes. Trustee Duval. No. Trustee Palermo. Yes. Vice President Dr. Pizzatelli. Yes, and I'll state that since I worked on the first committee uh, when I was with all the people and uh, they were not voted in, and I still believe they should not be the ones to receive the contract. President Rhodes. No. The motion failed. 